Hi, this is Isaac Jones, and I'm here to give uh, music lessons. This is for a person that's a little more advanced, okay? And so, for this is for the person who uh, plays by ear, but you might have trouble with, with uh, playing certain keys. And so, what I highly recommend is, for starting off, is uh, to get the sound... Uh, we're gonna today. We're gonna start with this, uh, a ma the major sound, and I'm gonna play it in all of the keys. I'm gonna play it for all of the keys, and the key is getting, of uh, the key of getting the key, <laughs> uh, is having the, having that sound in your ear. So if you're already playing by ear, then let's start off with C major, C G E F G. G F E D C and the chord C major chord for that. Uh, I recommend, or uh, before you play the whole scale, get those five, uh, get the sound of the C major scale, or not just the C major scale, but that major scale sound that of uh, the five notes because. Once you have that sound in your ear, then when you begin to go to, to let's go up a half step. Uh, this is C sharp or, or D flat. Uh, and those of you who want to get familiar with the names of the sharp and flat, I did another lesson uh, that you can take a look at that and go more into depth. But C sharp or D flat. So if I play, but then go back to this. It's close to it, but it's not quite the same. And what was the difference is that I moved everything up a half step. The C went to C sharp, D went to D sharp, but I kept the E. So everything should have went up a half step. And so instead of playing the E, I should have been playing the F. F goes to the F sharp, G goes to G sharp. Everything went up a half step. So, so when so when you look at that you make sure everything then if you go up a half step okay and let's um so that would be C sharp D sharp and technically this is E sharp but right now we'll say F F sharp and G sharp And as opposed to that's a minor, and that's a whole nother lesson. And that's the major. Now we're going to take everything up another half step. Now I'm going to play D. Oh, so you, you notice oh, this is major. Go back to C. There's a slight difference in the sound, and because that's a minor, so uh, and the no again the note that, that everything went up a half step from the C sharp to the D, and and with the F I played the F before. So now if I go up a half step for D for D major, I want to need to play the F sharp. So that'd be D E F sharp G A A. G F sharp E D So for so for D, uh, for D major just playing of uh, the five notes the first five notes of that scale I share uh, it shares the, the the notes of the C major scale except for one which is the F sharp So, so you want to get that sound, and then, and of course you can see what I'm playing there. So let's review C, C major. Now D, uh, D flat major, or C sharp major. And now D major. 
with the F sharp. And now we're going to go up to the uh, uh, E flat. I cheated there, so, but uh, E flat, F, G. Because you're not going to play the, for for major, you're not going to play. But you're going to play. Hear that difference in the sound? So that'd be E flat, F, G, A flat, B flat. And now we're going to take everything, all the notes we played, and everything moves up a half step again. Now we're going to the E. So now with E, we're not going to play. That's not major. If we just play major here. But if I move it and just play this all the white notes, that's not a major, that's not a major scale. So what, how, what I have to do to correct that is, is instead of playing the F natural, I'm going to play F sharp. Instead of playing the G, I'm going to play the G sharp. So for E major, this is the E major scale, you have the F sharp and you have the G sharp. Hear that sound? Sorry. Let's go back to C. flat C sharp D major the one the F sharp you're playing there E flat major no I'm playing you see the flats I'm playing playing that one which is E flat A flat B flat Then go up a half step to, and with E major, you're playing F sharp and a G sharp. And now we're going to go over to half step more to F major. Now, it, notice the difference between what I've just played there. It's slightly different. And the difference is, it would have been almost would have been a major, regular major scale, except for I was playing a B. And in this case, because we got moving by half steps, so if I, so the note that I was playing with my ring finger in the E major scale, you go up a half step, I'd have to play the B, the B flat. That'd be B flat. So I'd be F G A B flat C. Now I'm going to take it up a half step, everything a half step. So now to F sharp or G flat, F sharp, G sharp, A, uh, A sharp, and then now we're going to play B, and then C sharp, C sharp, B, A sharp, G sharp, F sharp. This is also ca called uh, uh, E flat major, but for right now I'm just going to say F sharp. So notes I'm playing. Okay, F sharp, G flat major. And then now going to G major. G, A, B, C, D. So it plays it plays the same notes. Uh, it plays the same notes from the C major scale. And with G, uh, this part of the G major scale, uh, it, it shares all of the same notes of the C major scale except, except starting on C and start on G G A B C D C B A G and that's, that's what it says the G major chord and now we're going to go a half step everything's going a half step so just looking at the chord that'll help you out too is okay if this is major everything's going a half step then the G is going to go to the A flat, 
the B is going to go to the C and the D is going to go to the E flat and that's going to the uh, A flat major scale scale and that'll be A flat B flat C D D flat excuse me E flat E flat D flat C B flat A flat sorry Okay, and then now we're going to take everything half step. So just looking at the major scale, the major chord rather, uh, A flat. So now I'm going to go to A, A to the A scale. So the C is going to go to the C sharp. The E flat is going to go to the regular E, and A flat, of course, is going to go to the A. So that would be A, B, C sharp, D, E. E D C sharp B A. And then now we're going to go up a half step to B flat. So the A is going to go to B flat. The C sharp. I'm sorry, I didn't, I didn't say the note. So I, sorry about that. Let's do go back to the A. A B C sharp D E E. D, C sharp, B, A. Do that again. So now looking at the A major chord, going everything going up a half step. So the A is going to go to B flat. The C sharp is going to go to D. And the E is going to go to the F. So, so that's the chord. And let's play the notes of the scale, of uh, the five notes of that scale. So that'd be B flat, C, D, E flat, F, F, E flat, D, C, B flat. And then take everything half step. So let's look at the chord. And this really helps with, with moving up because everything's moving by half step. So the B flat goes to B. The C D is going to go to the D sharp and the F is going to go to the F sharp and so we have B, C sharp, D sharp, E, E natural and then F sharp, then F sharp, E natural, D sharp, C sharp, D. And then back up to C. So now I'm gonna so now I'm gonna play it through um, all the way. And again, I'm just doing this with one hand. I'm not gonna uh, show the other hand because you just uh, just play the same notes except except with the left hand. So um, in fact, let me do it with the left hand now. Okay. So C C major. I'm not gonna say the notes. So you can just C and hear. D, C sharp, D flat. D major. E flat. Sorry. E major. F major, F sharp, G flat major, G major, A flat major, A major, B flat major, B major, and then back up to C major.
Now, of course, you could, uh, I started at the same range that I started with the right hand, but you could do the same thing, uh, octave lower, and go all the way up. All right, so I wish you all the best in your musical studies. Hope that helped you.